Okay, welcome everybody. Everybody here? Yes. Can all hear everybody? Yes. Um, and we've got a very special evening tonight. I'm here to talk to you about healing, about raising your vibration, about what's coming up for us. We are actually already in the process. I'd like to share with you that um, about 12 years ago, I was in the Dead Sea, floating on the water with a very dear friend who does uh, rebirthing. And we did a rebirthing experience, a rebirthing process right there as I was floating, and he, he was holding with his two hands. And I went back into my birth time. And when I went back into my birth time, something very amazing happened. I had a vision uh, that I was surrounded by light beings. And those light beings were fussing around me as a baby. And that has really uh, open an understanding, very deep understanding about my childhood because uh, I was born to uh, unique circumstances that has always been a riddle to me, how I grew up. So this has explained to me that I was actually wasn't uh, raised by people because there were no people. My, my mother was very sick and I was raised by light being. And then another experience came to me, and the experience was of a luminous lady. Her feet were on the ground, and her head touched the sky. And she had the face of, of a moon, and she was emitting this beautiful, 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 soft energy. And her smile just went through me like love breathe. I felt like all the cells in my body were opening and shining. That energy was so soft and as I'm talking to you right now, you can feel it through me. So the beautiful luminous lady bent down and she put me on her hand and I was, I, I was this tiny, tiny dot of light. She picked me and she smiled to me. And again, when she smiled to me, I was just washed like we were waterfall of light. And then she picked her hand, she put it to the sky, and I understood that she was connecting me to high vibrations. That was an initiation. And then she put me again to the face. Again, she smiled at me, and she put me on the ground. Since that day, my healing skills were when I was a healer already, but there was a huge transformation, and um, also my psychic skills, and I thought that's what it was about. But then, before coming to Australia, this time I come almost every year, before coming to Australia, I was preparing a seminar for the body, mind, spirit. And the seminar, the idea that I brought for the seminar is ascension and the luminous, uh, homoluminous. And I, as I said, writing it, the knowledge kept pouring to me like it was inscribed in me, it was in me, and I understood that the initiation not only was for my healing skills and psychic skills, but she was initiating me into being a homo luminous and to teaching. 
So that is a very profound experience that um, I have. I am very honored that you are here with me on this evening to share that understanding that the beautiful luminous lady has actually planted into my DNA. Okay. So each uh, chakra actually is connecting to a level of consciousness and also it's responsible of our phys physical parts of our body. The, the root chakra is the base chakra. It's a very basic uh, preliminary needs that we have as a human being. And so it goes up higher and higher as the chakras are higher. To raise the vibration, is actually creating light between us and the divine by sending light. So we create a fiber, fiber of light that um, is becoming the connection between us and the divine. The soul is the quantum. Having a quantum leap, which means having a leap to the soul's consciousness, to the soul's level. Many people think, what is my soul? It's a, such a vague thing. Where is that soul at all? But we are spiritual beings. We came here, our souls came here to elevate, to raise our frequencies because we can only do it while we are on the physical level and, and uh, once we leave this world we ascend, we can't raise the vibration, the soul stays with the vibration, it managed to come through being in the body. So, The soul is the divine presence in our temple. It's the ultimate rule of all confidence and the sense of purpose. The divine spark. The divine spark is in every cell of our DNA. And that's then when that light opens, we are creating the communities within us. Raise the vibration and fasten our frequency belt connecting to electromagnetic aura as an energetic tool and anchoring to celestial alignment. By working spiritually, by making the connection spiritually, we are actually making it. It's not, don't look for the physical Look for the feeling within that you are connected. All right? Now it's time, uh, now is the time to get complete assessment of issues that are tapped or stagnant. What are you uh, feeling hopeless about? Identify the areas that you want to renew and replenish. Get help to understand your mental and physical blocks. This is the time to release all that, release the language. There is a beautiful saying, uh, <coughs> the last straw for some reason is not seen, I don't want to say. By the same is by Leo Tassa, the, the book of I Ching. When babies are born, they are soft and flexible. When dying, people are hard and stiff. Plants are born, flexible and soft. When dying, they are dry and breakable. That's why whoever is tough and not flexible is a student of the death. Whoever is soft and flowing is a student of life. The hard and stiff, 
will break, will soft and the tender will flow and continue. So that tells you, if there are times you should ask yourself, why am I so kind and someone else is so tough? This is the answer for you. As long as you are soft and flexible, you are alive and you are transmitting the energy of life when people can become tough and hard, they're actually very afraid. And that's the reason why they're making it very difficult for other people. So here you can see that um, it's us, it's us who are, you see, we emanate the light. We, uh, we create the, uh, the spiritual dimension by what is happening in our planet, what kind of uh, thoughts, emotion we are beaming and then it comes back to us. So we are the one who actually constantly shift a situation or it is us that is creating the shift. And this is uh, Charles Darwin who said, it is not the strongest of the species that survive, nor the most intelligent that survive. It is the one that is most adaptable to change. Mm. So this is what we need to understand. OK, we wear what we wear so far. Now it's time to open up the chain. And how do we change it? we embrace that person within. We all carry that person within who knocks on our door. Hey, I want to be, and we push them, push them down. It's time to let that person from within shine through. So um, this is the understanding of the process that is happening now and now we start practicing the actually the most important part of it and that is letting go of our baggage. Please press it on and you can also take two notes, one to take home so you will have it home. Now this note we will do a process I the note says, today I let go of all ego, false belief, fears, sadness, anger, stress, limiting patterns of thinking and behavior, and anything that hinders me or makes me feel heavy or anything less than my divine self. So in the meditation, you will be working on what you want to let go, anything that has been stopping you, has anything that has been presenting a problem for you, and when you do, toss that note. Like you're tossing away the, those issues that you want to let go, and always have been blocking you and hindering you. And when you toss it, we will collect it after that and we will burn it because you want to let go and become lighter. Though this is introducing great heaviness and it is a problem when you want to ascend. So better by, by willing and consciousness, let it go so you'll be ready for the essential. Um, I will um, take you now into meditation. In this meditation, as I said, the process would be to let go and embrace, embrace the new you that is wanting to be born, 
that is wanting to be expressed and to be creating the gift you came to create in this world. Now, in meditation, I will be calling on the child, the new child, who needs to be absent by you, who needs to receive love for you. So please embrace the child within. The child within introduces gift and great healing, our true vibration. Okay. Now take a deep breath all the way within to your abdomen. See in your vision that by taking the breath to your abdomen, you are filling yourself with light, beautiful, golden, white light that is now entering you. Now take a very beautiful, deep breath. Feel the air coming through your nose, rotating as you breathe in, and breathe light from the universe. You are the Holy Grail, and the Holy Grail is waiting to be filled with abundance, with happiness, with light, with love, and with a very beautiful feeling of friendship. It is now that I call for our help, the angel to assist us to create a platform that will elevate us easily to ascension. By the power bestowed in me, I call upon the agent angel Mikael to stand in front of you. I call upon the angel Gabriel to stand to the right of you. I call upon the agent, the angel Raphael to stand on the left of you. I call upon the angel Uriel to stand to stand in the back of you. I call upon the power of the divine and the light of the divine to come as a spiral form up connecting with the angels and creating a platform that will raise and help you ascend to a higher level of consciousness. I call upon to the light, the great central sun coming through the sun, coming through the soul, coming through your root chakra, your crown chakra, and going down in spiral motion to the third eye, to the throat chakra, to the heart chakra, to the solar plexus, to sacral chakra, to root chakra. Now your chakras are all connected with the light of the divine. And the root chakra is shooting rays of rain energy 